Fresno County is fighting a fentanyl crisis. Health officials say teenagers are among the groups using the deadly drug at an alarming rate. We sat down with Dr. Race Vora, the interim health officer for the Fresno County Department of Public Health, to talk about Narcan, the life-saving drug that reverses the effects of an opioid overdose. As you've probably heard, 2020 was the deadliest year for drug overdoses. And so even despite with the pandemic and all the lockdowns, unfortunately, people died of opioids and other drugs uh, at higher rates than they ever had in the history of the U.S. So with Narcan, this is the antidote to opioid overdose. So, you know, every year in this country, we lose between 60 to 80,000 people of opioids. Um, and, and potentially all of those lives could be saved if more people knew about naloxone, also known as Narcan. It's actually super easy to administer, but it's very important to do it within minutes of an overdose because the person who needs it is not getting any oxygen to their brain, their heart, all of their vital organs. The Nar Narcan that we have at Community Regional Medical Center and Clovis Community Medical Center comes in boxes just like this. We hand this to our at-risk patients and their families whenever they open the box they're gonna see very easy instructions to follow. And we also teach patients how to use it at the time of our distribution. Whenever you open the box, you're gonna see a plunger that looks like this. That contains the medication. Whenever a person has overdosed, they're not going to be breathing. They might be blue, they might be um, uh, comatose, they may have pinpoint pupils. Uh, what we ask people to do is just check very quickly that they're not breathing, just putting a hand over their mouth or their nose, and then use this plunger right inside the nostril put it in very deeply and push the plunger. Call 911, wait two minutes. If the person has not woken up, then there's another plunger right inside the same box and do the same thing in the other nostril. So the naloxone goes onto the opioid receptor and literally knocks off the opioid that's causing the problem. So if somebody has stopped breathing because they have too many opioids in their brain, the naloxone will go in and make them start breathing again. But I think it's important to know that this is just the first step. You know, whenever somebody is struggling with opioids, uh, whenever somebody has accidentally overdosed, there's a lot of things that went wrong to get that person to that state. And really, the first thing that we wanna do is save that life. But once that person has come back to breathing again uh, and, and gotten, gotten out of that coma, then we really start the hard work of saying, hey, how did you get here? How could we prevent this from happening in the future? Is this just a medication overdose and now we need to kind of dial down how much you're actually taking uh, because of your pain? Or, or are you legitimately you know, struggling with addiction? In which case we have great medications and great recovery resources for that as well. So we're hoping that this actually starts a long conversation uh, and really a relationship that we wanna be having with our patients to say how can we help you avoid this, this, um, this consequence in the future. Community's Narcan distribution program is supplied and funded through the state of California. Again, you can receive a free dose of Narcan, no questions asked. All you have to do is go to the emergency room at either Community Regional Medical Center or Clovis Community Medical Center and ask for it.